Indian martyr declared saint by Vatican for anti-caste activism. So I found this very interesting. On May 16th, Pope Francis declared, forgive me on this name, guys. Uh, Deva Sahayam. Deva Sahayam. Deva Sahayam. Uh, so Pope Francis declared Deva Sahayam a saint, thus making him the first Indian layman to be canonized. Deva Sahayam, also known as Lazarus, was born into an upper caste Hindu family in 1712 in the South Indian town of uh, Kanyakumari. Born with the name Nilakandan Pillai, he served as a treasurer in the royal palace of King Mahathanda, no, Marathanda, Varma when he met a Dutch naval commander who introduced him to Catholicism. The officer, the officer shared the story of Job from the Old Testament, uh, which touched Pillai on a personal level as he, much like Job, was struggling at the time with a string of family tragedies. The story moved him to convert to Christianity, drop his caste name Pillai, and take on the name Deva, Deva Saha... <laughs> Deva Sahayam, which in Tamil translates to, quote unquote, God has helped. He fought against caste discrimination and advocated for social equality. His conversion was seen as treason against the kingdom, which led to his imprisonment in 1749. He spent the remainder of his life there, where he was ultimately shot and killed in 1752. Deva Sahayam was chosen for sainthood by the Vatican after a woman claimed her unborn child, who had been declared declared quote-unquote medically dead started moving again after praying to him in 2013. So two little explainers. When I say that he was the first Indian layman to be canonized, that means layman in Catholic terms means that you are not a priest, you're not a deacon, you're not part of the clergy at all. You are just you are just a Catholic. You're just a, a typical Catholic. You're, that's called a layman. Um, canonized is the process of becoming a saint and um in terms of why are you suddenly talking about a lady praying to him and then suddenly her baby was alive again so one of the criteria to become a saint in the catholic church is that you have to have a miracle attributed to you um meaning that through someone um praying to you the power of christ goes through you as a saint and creates a miracle for that person and yeah yeah so he, that was the miracle that earned him the title of saint don't they have to don't, don't they have investigators that has to verify that it was a miracle doesn't that isn't that something that the church does before they accept somebody as a saint i yes but that whole idea I, is very suspicious to me no, you don't say <laughs> <laughs> I'm skeptical. <laughs> no, but I'm just wondering how are they investigating a miracle that has happened like 300 years ago? How no, no, so the miracle that happened happened in 2013. Quote unquote. Miracle. Uh, wait, so they, this is what passes as a miracle? You, some a baby was, what was the miracle exactly? So this woman had a pregnancy that was quote unquote medically dead. And then when she prayed to uh, Deva Shahayam, suddenly the fetus came Wait, alive. so you can become a saint because you did, even if you didn't per do a miracle during your life, you had to do a miracle after you, you do miracle. You can do miracles through, after through your intercession, through the intercession of that saint. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah. There's a ton of saints like that, Armin. Like they were dead I thought I thought the way you okay so why was she calling out her as name if he wasn't a saint already to begin with you could call out people's name without them being saints already just random dudes that happen to be Christian a Catholic <laughs> like, oh, you're not a saint you, I hey like so if you were like a Catholic Susie like could I just like call out your name if I wanted my you know child my pet nun to die for example like I was like, I would, oh, Susie I would, saved I would come, my back. I would intercede for you. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't have to reach sainthood first. I just have to call out the name of a dead Catholic, and then if that happens, so that you do intercede, then you could become a saint. This so most weird. commonly, you're already a saint. That's the most common. 
Oh, so the Catholic Church confirms you as a saint, not like they don't make you a saint. They were like, oh, you were always a saint. We just didn't know it. They were just confirming it right now. Is that's what's happening? Like, the, kinda, it's just yeah. official. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So like people, people, it's people before the Vatican from popularity, you know, you know, from it's popular to consider somebody to be a saint. So then therefore random people keep praying to that guy. And eventually the Catholic, the Vatican, if they put their sample of, this is clever marketing. This is so clever marketing. This is just like, you see a movement grow up around a, peop, a, a group of people and for Vatican to remain relevant among the group of people, they're like, Hey, it's a nice saint you have there. Wouldn't you like, wouldn't we, wouldn't, the Vatican's relevance be reminded to you if we officially recognize this person that you recognize as a saint for us to be in our books as a saint like wouldn't you like be grateful to the Pope and like this is very clever marketing this is a very this is a very win-win like propaganda as well right so for example a community wants to make itself more relevant and be recognized officially by the larger a Catholic community as an important as an important group of people. So they make somebody a legend in the community. They like prompt them that person up as a like as a saint, right? So this is an this is a, like a transaction between that community and the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is like looking at the group of people, like these are large group of people that would like us even more if we're like we recognize their saint. So and that group of people are like, hey, our our churches will probably get more funding. Our our priests will probably become higher priests if all of a sudden they're associated with this saint from this community. You know what I mean? So this is like two so two two um, a, a, a contract between the franchisor and the franchisee. <laughs> this is all very very. I think clever. of it in terms of like survival of the meme. Like this is a yeah. very convenient way to like subsume a meme that is already successful and mm -hmm. so he already had a very large following both during his lifetime and afterwards particularly among dalit and adivasi communities um like he led i think some mass conversions and stuff which is partially why they thought of him as treasonous um and there were a few other instances that happened surrounding him that i don't know if they counted in the miracles towards his canonization but there was um a stone where he like knelt to pray where apparently th there's like lots of christian or catholic myths about this where like the the you can he he his, the power of his prayer was so great that it left a permanent mark in the stone on which he prayed so there's like a sh like a shrine dedicated to him where you can go see this stone that has his like imprint on it supposedly um yeah. Does this get any Hindu Hindu reactions from India, especially? But this guy used to be a Hindu, then turned into Christian. Is that what we, I heard? Yeah, he was an upper caste Hindu, and then he died. And then the he rest was of his life freeing people castes. from caste oppression. All right. So, would this cause any tensions between the Hindu community and the Catholic Church if they're highlighting somebody who was anti, who was fighting Hindu doctrine? I think. And um maybe not fighting hindu doctrine so much as promoting conversion that's Too where Christian. the real yes that's mm -hmm. where the real hot point comes in and this is so a lot of people were like um either members of the local christian community were saying that this comes at an important time because we have seen such an explosion of violence against christians in india particularly over the past year not even the past year like since in the past seven months um and so they think that it's a very important time to highlight what's going on for their community and this is one way to get more attention on it so they appreciated that um but what i thought was really interesting was of the people who voted him in they were going to call him uh deva shahayam pilai and there were people who were outraged they're saying why are you using his cast name if you're going to canonize him, you have to drop his cast name. That defeats the whole purpose of everything that he was about. So they successfully pushed to get Pilai, his, his high his high cast name, dropped from the official recognition of, of him. Um, 
I think in terms of Hindu reactions, it's like another reminder of this history of conversion, which is obviously something that they really dislike, um, particularly because he was in charge of several mass conversions, I believe. Um, and um, it's kind of inconvenient in the way that it reminds them of a historical push against Hinduism, a historical push or motivation to leave Hinduism. And a lot of that motivation does come from caste oppression. Right. We got a super chat, which reminds me, we didn't oh. add this video to our fundraising, but thank you so much. Here, let me highlight it. Thank you, Do and thank you, Varun, for the $5 super chat. Do you want to read this? Uh, it's kind of nice, though. I missed the super chats. <laughs> I missed the messages from the super chats. Uh, Varun gave, thank you for the $5, Varun. He's saying Hinduism is institutionalized slavery to caste Brahmin domination. Hinduism caste pyramid is a Ponzi scheme, which needs the maximum number of people at the base for it to work. It is a scheme. I don't know if it's a Ponzi scheme, but it is a scheme. Yes, I agree with that. Um, More pyramid than Ponzi. Yes. If we're getting technical. Because Ponzi would... Be about moving have, these no, resources both, around. No, not, no, no. Both pyramid and Ponzi schemes has a limited ability for people to change, come from the bottom of a pyramid to the top of the pyramid, right? Yes. And so, but, but the caste system doesn't do that um but it is a scheme i agree with that but thank you for the super chat also do you want to read some okay so anonymous all is saying this is so absurd and then doorknob head is like absurd is kind of is kind of what this channel is all about <laughs> oh there was another good comment so you know this is a great comment from secular rarity because to people who are not familiar with catholicism this is probably like very confusing um to you so secular racing, yes, Armin, to talk about the standard of quote unquote miracles and how they're investigated. Yes, Armin, someone held a picture of Mother Teresa to their chest and it quote, cured their heart problems. And that was part of Mother Teresa's canonization. That was part no of her way. path to sainthood. So this is the standard we're talking about here. Unbelievable. Okay, that's crazy. So this, this story gave me an interesting they, excuse to talk about canonization and also i thought it was interesting to talk to see the catholic church acknowledge like this anti-caste figure in india the the thing is that they have i i saw a documentary like years ago about the way that they had investigators and they try to make it seem like it's very very like they do their due diligence they have like they go and send like proper investigators and they look for evidence and it's like very systematic very scientific so they make it seem like that but it's obviously not yeah <laughs> forever stormy is saying i feel uh i feel like this all has more to do with the pope's impending visit to india that may play into this very good point stormy very good point. <laughs> this made me laugh <laughs> forever stormy is saying susanna watching armin catholic catholic explaining <laughs> catholic explaining <laughs> is a sight yes. <laughs> yeah. i'm just like all right uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> no <Hey>. yeah <laughs> rune is saying oh first of all thank you for another five dollars rune yes um you. rune is saying pyramid is more pyramid is an important part of the caste structure number of exploiters brahmins at the top is less than those being exploited otherwise ponzi won't work yeah. Well, yes. I don't. Yes. I don't know if I. Yeah. I don't know if I agree with the Ponzi part of it, but it certainly is a pyramid. On. Uh, yeah. Of okay. So, so just to be clear, I'm just being pedantic. Okay. So pyramid yeah, schemes are are used for naming schemes, not just because they're pyramid-like, but there's also certain. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of schemes that might look like a pyramid, but are not pyramid schemes, right? So a pyramid scheme specifically requires other things other than looking like a pyramid for it to be a pyramid scheme. But that's being too pedantic. Let's just call it a pyramid scheme. It's fine. Okay. But we know what yeah. you mean. Yes. We're yes, just yes. being sticklers for the details. Just, yes. Yes. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.